really been getting into bodycon dresses and uh, this might sound like weird, really weird, but I got this. Um, this is by Skinny Girl Smoothless Smoothers and Shapers by Bethany Frankel. Who's Bethany Frankel? Is that that like talk show girl? I wear body con dresses whenever I go out. I am obsessed with body con dresses. Uh, they're very, very flattering on me. And the type of dresses I go for, like I already have a style now, is I go for elbow length dresses and body con dresses that are midi, which means they go means they go down to my knees. And because of that, I have to wear a lot of Spanx. <laughs> I know TMI, but I do have a little bit of a belly pooch. I think everybody does, and it's like. It's really hard to pull off like a skin tight dress when you got a little bit of that gut going on. So, um, but I feel like everyone has like gut, even supermodels. Like it's impossible for your stomach to go in. You know what I mean? But shaper I got. So I've really been into shapers because I like making optical illusions and making people believe things that aren't really there. So I want to suck in my stomach and I got this thing. It's a high rise shape thong. Um, I used to have, I like the ones that also come to the mid knee, but I realized that sometimes if the dress is longer than the shaper, you can see the little cut at the mid of the thigh and it's just, I don't know, whatever. Um, this is, I don't know, it's not that great to be honest. I tried it on over my underwear and it's not tight enough. It doesn't feel like it's sucking it in. It's not like the Spanx where I feel like I, it's very uncomfortable, but it smooths things out. I don't know, I don't really like it. I think I'll bring it back. I think I will bring this back since I haven't even worn it. Um, but it was only $12.97 at uh, Nordstrom Rack, but it just, I don't know, I just felt like it wasn't an enough support. So another shaper that I got is from Nordstrom Rack 2. It is called the PP um, Shape It Up Pretty, Pretty Poly one here. It's weird. It has like these two little like things for your butt and then the the thighs like a little bit tighter and then here's the stomach area I'm not really impressed to be honest with this it is a comfortable waistband but I felt like it didn't smooth as much as I like to so yeah I'm not a huge fan of this I still love Spanx I love Sarah Blakely I think she is just such a great role model um, but I actually do like her product I feel like the Spanx really sucks it in so much that you can see almost a line from your rib to the place it sucks up which means it's obviously doing something you know if you couldn't see that line it wouldn't have done much um, so Spanx are a little bit more uncomfortable they're a little bit more expensive but I think um, you know my motto is like no matter what kind of dress you're wearing if your if your body doesn't look good underneath if you got lumps and stuff coming out the dress will not look good because it just won't look good so I always try to invest in good shape where I get Spanx and cheaper sometimes on eBay or Amazon um, I got a pair of new shapewear from Spanx. It's the one where it's like a full bodysuit and it cuts out around your bra. So it sucks in all your stomach and then you can wear whatever bra you like underneath. And the, the problem I have with like just normal Spanx when you're wearing bodycon dresses is sometimes you can see the ridge of where the Spanx ends and your actual like meat and skin begin. Um, I like it all to be one smooth surface so that when you're wearing a dress you can't see any of those like weird lines. So that's why I got that. It was actually pretty expensive but um, I will do a review on that if you're interested because I love talking about shapewear. I'm a huge shapewear fanatic. I just love having an excuse to eat whatever I want and then just wear shapewear. Be like, yeah, you know, I want this cookie because you know what, I'm just going to wear Spanx tomorrow. <laughs> Like, I am very, very much obsessed with BB dresses. I have a really, really bad obsession with them. I get obsessed over things a lot, but I've been obsessed with Lululemon um, workout clothing and BB dresses, and both of them aren't like super affordable. But BB is actually pretty affordable if you go and they have sales. They have sales where they have 50% off their red lines, and so those dresses are, you know, just as much as Forever 21 dresses. And I love, love, love BB dresses. I feel like they're like Spanx in terms of the way they fit your body. They just kind of suck everything in and make it feel very, very good. So I got um, this dress from BB. It is just one of their midi dresses. It retails for $90, but I got it for $35. And it's just this striped midi, midi dress. And what a midi dress is, is it goes down to your knees. So I, I really do like this dress, although I do not like the fact that it is um, strapless because um, I don't like to show my arms, but 
I think you could throw on a nice cardigan or a jean jacket over it. I have not worn this yet, so that's my problem. I buy things and I don't wear them. But it is a nice dress. It is very, very, very flattering. I love BB dresses. They're very, very flattering. This orange dress, which I have never worn out, but I've worn in videos. <laughs> so it is just this maxi dress, and it is very, very flattering but it has the problem of showing every little thing that you're wearing. So even when I do wear shaper under this, you can still see everything. I don't know if I like that. Um, but it has the BB emblem. I'm not, I don't know, I actually don't really find this obnoxious. I feel like it's more like a design than it is like, oh, I'm wearing BB. I don't know, just because it is like their signature thing. It's just a Jersey Road maxi dress. It goes all the way to the floor. It is long on me, so I'd have to wear like some kind of little bit of a platformer wedge. And then on the back, it has an open back here. So this is a problem. Like I can't wear shapewear because you can see through this, which I think will be an issue, but we'll see. Another place I've been really loving to shop is Urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters is really really inexpensive um, when they have sales. Their sales stuff goes down ridiculously like a lot and I don't know if Urban Outfitters is doing well or not because if they keep this up then obviously I will never pay full price for anything if I'm just gonna wait for it to go on sale but besides the point um, this is a pair of pants I got it was only 10 bucks now it looks kind of weird because it's like army camo plant print and it got like um, cargo pockets and stuff, but I just thought this would be kind of, you know, it's very like Rihanna wears this a lot. She'll wear like uh, army print pants and like a denim shirt or whatever. Um, but yeah, I liked it because it was only 10 bucks and it fits really well. And it's just, you can put this on, um, you can put this on in a sweatshirt or a sweater underneath. It's really nice. And it's not, it's not long. It goes to her ankles. And at Urban. Um, I got this recently and this is so cute. So you guys know I've been loving midi dresses, midi bodycon dresses with um, quarter length sleeves and this is my style, this is what I wear all the time and I'll probably be wearing something like this at IMATS. Um, I got this which is a bodycon dress, it's by Silence and Noise. I'm actually wearing the orange one right now, you can see how it looks here. And maybe we'll do like a full outfit back there but it is super, super flattering. So it's just a black dress, it's pretty long, and see it goes all the way here. There is a slit here, um, and then there is, and then there's a place right here, like a hole for your back, so you can see here. Oh, I have a hole right here. It's kind of flattering, and I think they designed this really well because the bra is right here, and then the underwear is here, so you can't, um, <clears throat> so it won't interfere. I don't like cut out dresses that interfere with your undergarments because it's like, what are you gonna do, not wear underwear? Like, I don't know. Like, there's this one dress on nastygal.com where the whole side was see-through. I thought it was really hot, but I'm like, does that mean you're not wearing underwear or what? This is only 20 bucks, I really like it. Um, the picture online, the model was not that, like, it's just weird because like, online you would never buy this dress because the model doesn't look very good on it, but like, if you actually go in and try on the dress, it's very, very flattering. So, pictures lie sometimes. Uh, this necklace, which I am in love with, I love kind of statement jewelry now, I never used to be in it, but ever since the whole like Daisy loves bodycon midi dresses, I love this thing. And I also have my nails, um, my nails, they're actually gel nails, I, I feel about gel. I just felt very much like I was trying to, like, I was getting married, like I was committed to a certain color and that was a really hard decision. Um, <laughs> that was a really hard decision. I wanted to... I don't know, I'm someone who's like, I can't really commit to a certain color, I want to change it, but it's good. It's been about a week and I feel like there's already a tiny bit of chipping, which kind of bothers me because I'm all like, you know, it has to be perfect or it has to be off, but I really do like this. And I got a Groupon for a gel manis, so I'm only going to do gels when I get Groupons because I don't want to spend like the $40 it costs to actually get a gel manicure. Payless shoes, absolutely obsessed with shoes from Payless. This is my second pair, they are by Brash. They are such a comfortable heel to wear. They're $7, I'm not kidding you, $7, so that's why I bought two pairs. 
because I love my other pair. I, they're great, great, great for wide feet. They're super comfy because the footbed is wide. So I'm, I'm gonna be making a video right after this about um, how to walk in high heels and like tips and tricks on how to really perform well in heels. And basically you need a shoe that has a really wide footbed. The reason, like one of the reasons why heels hurt so much is because your toes and your whole box is like pushed together. So this is a really, really nice a shoe that was only seven bucks and then it's um, by Fiona Knight and it is this purple pink um, sandal which I love here and it has a little bit of a platform super super cute this is only seven dollars as well and I got the pair in gold and I wore that for New Year's and so it was all filled with gold I don't have it with me here but yeah I got three pairs of shoes for under 25 bucks it was pretty insane and I love Payless shoes. They are like my favorite shoe brand for going out. So definitely rock on Payless shoes. Like they are so underrated. Um, and I hope Payless sees this video because they really, I, I feel like they could go really far with, um, with these kind of shoe lines because, you know, honestly, like these shoes are just so comfortable. I've tried Kohan, I've tried every brand really except for like Christian Louboutins and stuff, but these are really nice shoes. These I just got in the mail today and I'm so excited. They are the Chinese Laundry Tippy Top Shoe. I'm going to be doing a review on these shoes um, by itself because they are amazing. They're the uh, official shoe for Miss Universe and I saw them at a lot of pageants and stuff and I just thought they were so, so cute. And I've been looking for a pair of nude heels to wear like going out or just like a pair of nude heels that will match with anything. Nude heels are the best because um, black, I feel like you can only wear like if, if, if the outfit is like more formal or if the dress is black. But nude, you can wear with anything like spring, spring dresses, uh, winter dresses, going out, whatever. And this is so, so comfy. You think they're not that comfy because it looks very intimidating, but the footbed is very wide and it fits my insanely wide feet, which I love. So they're super, super cute. Um, they come in all different kinds of colors. I got them on Amazon. I'll put the link below if you want to get them. But they come in like red, greens, reptile patterns, blacks. I do love them so, so much. And I will have a video of reviewing these shoes by themselves because I love them so, so much. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you like it. And there might be a secret giveaway down in the bottom bar below, so definitely check that out. And I will see you guys later. Bye!